I like uh, that it's very interactive, that you can see yourself reflected in the piece of art. And I really liked it very much. <laughs> It makes me uh, reflect about um, rooms I've seen or places of uh, uh, memory of like uh, victims of genocide or where you have like lots of candles for each person. So somehow it's the same, but at the same time it's also more like playful. I like the idea that it rep represents a person, each of the lamps. Um, and I like the idea that um, that we're able to see our own pulse in that lamp. Since uh, I'm a medical student, I'm, I'm used to uh, feeling the pulse, but now I can see it. And I think that's uh, a very nice idea. It captures very nicely the way that technology invades our lives. And I think it does it in a very poetic way. Um, so it's not like those cold, inhumane technologies, but it's really touching, and it steals something from us that is really personal. So it's, and it's also a participatory work, I guess. Um, so it it, um, it touches something very specific about this age that we live in. It's a more personal touch with the individual as it's your heartbeat and not just, you know, a push on a button that could be done by anyone. It's like it's interactive and it's interactive in the most individual way that it could possibly ever be.